I'm Eric Schorenberg, Editor-in-Chief. And I'm Ray Martin, Special Contributor. And today's reality check, is financial literacy a substitute for regulatory reform? Ray, there's a lot of debate now about the Consumer Financial Protection Agency, about regulatory reform. Some people say that all the nation really needs is a more financially literate populace. Other people say the banks and financial institutions need to be reformed. What do you think? Well, I, th I certainly think you need both here, but what measure? But ultimately, financial literacy will only get us so far if you don't have a good dose of accountability. And there's a difference between being literate about financial matters and being personally accountable. That's a big, big issue for me. What's the difference between accountability and being literate? Well, I think as a nation of consumers, we are a nation of consumers. People consume, they use debt, credit, uh, and don't think about the long-term consequences. I think folks need to face that reality and be personally accountable. And I think we need leadership in this country to say, hey, it's wrong. We've got to fundamentally change the way people think about how they consume in this country and think and create a stronger personal financial accountability message. All right, sure. It would be great if people saved a lot more and great if people were smarter about the financial right. decisions they made. However, I don't think that lets the government off the hook. It doesn't let the regulators off the hook. No matter how accountable you make people, no matter how much you try to educate them, there is always going to be a universe of advertising and salespeople trying them to right. act, trying to get them to act in a right. financially irresponsible way. To save, uh, not to save, but to spend more. Okay. Uh, I buy that to an extent, but I think our government's sending the wrong message. They're saying, hey, it's not your fault. You need to be protected. These banks are terrible about their credit cards. They're over the balance charges they charge you, hit you up with. So we're going to tell them to stop all that madness. But you're, you as an individual are charging over your balance. It's not the bank's fault, it's yours. And where is the message from our government telling people, hey, you're part of the problem here too, to an individual in this country, and shape it up. You can't do some of the crazy things you did. Even if they're offered to you, don't do it. All right, well, sure. I think it would be great if people didn't make dumb decisions. But think of it as a, a policymaker thinks about it. Where can you have the biggest effect? And isn't it a little unseemly if the nation's largest financial institutions are playing gotcha capitalism with people who just don't know any better. A lot of disclosure wasn't made, a lot of sales tactics were a little shady, and in the end, it, the people who really ended up picking up the tab were the taxpayers. I get that, but I'm also going on the accountability side. People are told, hey, it's okay, you're in credit card debt, call a debt relief company, you know, only pay pennies on the dollar, it's okay, it's not your fault. You've used somebody else's money, now you're not going to pay it all back. A financial institution is going to take a hit there and good people with good jobs are going to lose their jobs because of it. But don't worry, it's not your fault, it's the credit card company's fault. It is everybody's problem. And I think accountability, not just, I think literacy is hugely important, but accountability is also part of the message and we've got to change. And that's going to take a long time to change that, but you've got to start now. You can't just make, help people believe or tell them that it's not your fault, it's gotcha capitalism's fault. I think everybody's accountable here. Well, it will take a cultural change, but I do that's think right. that uh, that's what I'm calling going for. bankrupt, um, going broke, being deeply in debt, uh, it's not a very desirable situation. I think there's a lot of negative reinforcement built into that, but we'll have to hold it right here until the next time. I don't think there's enough, but yes, we'll talk about it later. All right. <laughs> That's your reality check. Thanks for watching.